Hey everyone, welcome back to What The Film School. Today's video is going to be a little different because I wanted to do something that's more hands-on. So I'm going to show you the equipment that I use through school. So right now I'm taking a webisode class and it is considered a production class at my school. So basically anytime you're taking a production class, you're given an allotment, which is just a uh, small amount of equipment that you can use to go out and shoot your productions. Now they allow us to rent other equipment, but this is just kind of covering the bases. So let's go on over and I'll show you what I have and how to set it all up. So hi everyone, forgive the echoey audio, but right now I'm going to just give you a quick overview of all the equipment. So let me just show you what I've got. Here's everything laid out. It's just these four cases here. We've got two sound cases and one camera bag and the tripod. So we'll start with this audio case. This has our shotgun mic and a lav mic, which is what I'm showing you here. The lav mic attaches to an XLR cable, which I'm demonstrating for you right now. It just clips and unclips, and the XLR connects to the camera or an audio recorder. This is the top of the microphone that I'm clipping into a clip that will go onto your subject's clothing, and it's a little tricky to get on there, but once you do, it'll just clip onto your shirt, as I will demonstrate here. And this is just a close-up of that microphone on its clip. And a close-up of me taking it out of the XLR cable. And again, that just pulls right off. Pretty easy. Here's a close-up of the XLR cable. As you can see, it's got two sides. Both are different. They connect one side to the camera, the other side to your audio equipment. Next up, we have some headphones included in the case. These are really important because they're really good quality. Next is the other sound case, and this has slightly different equipment inside. Here's everything spread out. Here we have the shotgun mic, which is included in this case. You can see the top and the bottom of it. This again will connect to your XLR cable. This is a cover for it. Here I will slide it on. And we have a smaller shotgun mic. You can see I put the two together. That's the top piece and the bottom piece. And the bottom piece will connect to, there's a case for it, the bottom piece will connect again to the XLR cable into the camera. So now I'm putting the shotgun into its holder and you'll see in a minute where that holder is going to go. So here's the boom pole, and you just saw that top piece at the bottom there is a screw, and then at the top of this is a screw, so we'll put those two together. And voila! We have a boom pole and our microphone at the end of it, so we can unscrew that boom pole, make it a little bit longer, and what this is typically used for is to record audio again in a scene where your actors are a little further away from the camera. So typically if you're seeing it behind the scenes of a movie, you'll find somebody reaching all the way over into the scene with this uh, boom pole hovering over the actors and that will record really good audio really close up to their face. This is a recorder for audio um, and it has a little cover for it, like a little hat. So I'm just gonna slide that on over there. It's got two microphones on top and just a bunch of buttons to record. It's pretty straightforward. It also has XLR cable uh, holes at the bottom so you can connect that to your boom pole as well. Here's the camera case and everything that's included in that, the batteries, the camera itself, and just some cables. Here's a close-up of this Sony camera. I believe this is just a camcorder. I'll put the exact style of this camera down in the description box if you want to take a closer look at it. Um, this is a bit more complicated for just simple video production, but you know, if you're looking for a little bit higher quality, then this is where you'd go, but I think this is probably several thousand dollars, so definitely much more than just a small you know, DSLR. And then we have our tripod, last but not least. Here it is laid out on the floor. And here it is upright, and you can see there's little screws at the bottom so you can extend the legs of that. And once again, here is everything that is included in all of my kits. Most students will rent extra equipment because this isn't nearly enough to do a big production. But if you're doing small scale video productions, this is pretty much the bare bones of what you would need. A camera, a tripod, and some sound equipment, and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. If you have any questions or comments about the equipment that I used or that I showed you, please just leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe, turn on the notifications, do all that stuff. And be sure to check out my blog because I'll be posting some content there too. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.